Good. We're gonna go take her to go get a COVID test today. I have to stay home for 15 days. Yes, she has to quarantine at home for 10 days. Man, your eye looks all red. You feeling any better? Mm -mm. Good morning, everyone. So, um, I am about ready to leave the house. I gotta take Madison to school, but Trinity over here is not feeling so well today. You say hi. What's wrong? She's got a sniffly nose and a little bit of a sore throat. So I'm gonna take Madison to school, um, keep Trin home, but we've gotta get going, so I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so we are headed to take Madison to school. Um, I've got Preston in here with me. Trin's still back at home, resting. Um, and then when we get home, I have a lot of Christmas stuff I'm still working on trying to get put away. And then we've gotta get Preston ready for the day and fed. And then we'll go check on Trin. All right guys, we are home from dropping Madison off at school and I got this little dude ready. Hey, I wanted to show everybody your cute dude. He was just playing peekaboo with me. Hey, show me, show me. All right, he likes playing with our Trinity and Beyond bracelets. You see that? Can you show everybody your hairdo? You look handsome. You say peekaboo? Bye. Oh, do you feel it? Can you see? I'll flip the camera around. <gasps> Who's that handsome dude? All right, guys. So while um, Madison is at school, um, we tried to get as much as we can, but I'm going to try to put away all of our Christmas stuff. So we got lots to put away. And I still have to take the Christmas tree down. Save the best for last. So. Um, I'm going to try to put all my Christmas stuff away. I'm gonna set the camera down for a bit and then I will see you guys when it's time to go pick Madison up. All right guys, we just picked Madison up. How was school? Good. Good. Can you see me? Can you see her? Can anybody see her? Wave Madison so they can see you. All right, how's Preston doing? Good. Wait, mom, I get, I get my room number. Oh, yes, okay, so. I did not lose my phone at all. Madison did not want to miss school today because we kept Trinity home from school and Madison really wanted to stay home. You wanna tell them why? Because Trinity's one of the only people I play with at recess. Okay, so Trinity is one of the only people that she plays with at recess. So at recess, I guess they get to play together and so Madison was really sad that she wasn't gonna have Trinity there to play with at recess. But Madison has lots of other friends Wait, that- but mom, I actually wanted my reward to be, um, I didn't tell the rules. Oh, okay, That's Madison. We, so we told Madison that she needed to go and that we would maybe, we would give her a little reward for being a good girl and going to school. So, so Madison's reward she wants to be that she gets to decide when she gets her homework done, but you still have to you get have your homework. You have to tell the rules. You, get a, you have to do your homework though still, right? Okay, so anyways guys, we are gonna head back home and check on Trin. All right, you guys, so we are back home from picking Madison up. Uh, Trinity has been resting on the couch. We just finished eating lunch and Preston is now down for a nap. Now girls, so Trinity already knows this. I want Madison, to guess her. what? What? I got a phone call from the school after um, I took you to school and they said that because Trinity has two low risk symptoms, so the sniffly nose, and the sore throat are low risk symptoms versus. I don't know what that means. That means they're not that bad. Versus high risk symptoms such as loss of smell, or um, gosh, I don't even know what the other ones are. They're on a, they're on my email. Anyway, so since Trinity has two low risk symptoms, she has a criteria she has to meet or go through now in order to go back to school. So first one is she needs to go get a negative COVID test. So she has to get the. The nose swab. Oh yeah. She has to get a nose swab and it has to come back negative. Or, or, throat swab. or maybe the throat swab. Or she has to go to her primary physician and they have to diagnose it as something else. So say like an earache or cold or tonsillitis or something. Or flu. And then after that, or the flu, and then after that, if she gets a different diagnosis, then she can return back to school within 24 hours as long as her symptoms are improving. So I think what we are going to do is we are gonna go take your sister over there. We're gonna load her up in the car. Why do I have to go? Maybe just for the car ride. 
And then we're gonna go take her to go get a COVID test today. Okay, but mom, I'm playing this cool game called Islands on Roblox, and that's how much stuff I collected. Wow, that's a lot. You wanna of see stuff. the new thing I collected today? Okay, sure. Get ready to show me but, what I'm at. Or, but what's sorry, it, Trinity. Like, if I don't go to get either one of those things. I have to stay home for 15 days. Yes. So the other option was that if we didn't do any of those options, she has to quarantine at home for 10 days. Today is Tuesday for us, which means she wouldn't be able to return back to school till the following Friday. So that's a long time to be out of school for just a cold. I'm pretty sure she's got just a cold, but we will find out. We're gonna go get her tested. Um, I've got some errands to run. We're gonna let Bubba take a nap. We're gonna let Trin rest. And then I think when I get back, we're gonna load her up in the car and go get her tested. All right, real quick before I go run my errands, I wanted to show you guys how we need to schedule Trinity's test. All right, so we go to this handy website here. We are in California. And then we find the one that is in our area. Schedule it, I think they do them every 15 minutes. We just simply have to drive up, give them, they will email me a code or barcode, um, show them our ID and our barcode once we get there. Um, they'll do the test and then I believe we get our results in 15 minutes um, via email. So we're gonna um, get that done. We're gonna take the test results back to the school and my hope is that she just needs another day or two to rest and then she'll be back to school at the end of the week. All right guys, before mom goes and runs her errands and stuff, uh, me and Trinity were outside because I figured Trin needed to go warm up. Look at this kid. Man, your eye looks all red. You feeling any better? Okay, anyways, when we were sitting outside in the sun, we found one of our little friends. If you guys saw our video that went up like a week or so ago, I don't know, a few days ago or something. Um, we let all of our lizards go before we went to Idaho on our trip. And now, we found one of them. I'm right up there. Camera. All right, look at that, guys. I call him Brownie because he looks like a brownie. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa. No Brownie. All right, uh, that was Brownie. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was really big and fat. And like usually in our yard, we always find and catch little skinny ones. But since we had it as a pet for like since last summer, it got really fat in the tank. So we're pretty sure that was Brownie. Before we went to Idaho, I actually saw him again. Yeah? Uh-huh. I tried to catch him so I could hold him and see if he would know me. And he ran away. <laughs> so I don't think he remembered memorize me. All right, I think the uh, lizards are happy to be back out at their home. We still have an empty tank, so one of these days we're gonna have to find something to put inside there. All right, you guys, so I just got home from... All right, so when I got home this afternoon, I had gotten out of the car and I had heard a noise outside, so I put the camera down to go check it out, and anyways, before I know it, um, it was dinner time and bedtime, and I forgot to pick the camera back up, but I got super busy today running my errands and my errands ran a little late so we didn't end up having time to go take Trinity to get her COVID test. So I think that is what we're gonna plan to go do tomorrow. Um, keep her home from school tomorrow and she'll be doing Zoom tomorrow um, with her class. But after class um, and after Preston's nap, then I think we're gonna take her to go get her COVID test. But um, the kids are in bed. I've got some videos to work on, so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. But make sure you check out um, the next vlog so you can find out whether Trinity tested positive or negative for COVID. So we will see you guys next time. Bye!